the moment, but he does have an up and down straight draw. His hand is well disguised. If he makes it straight, there's a chance Phil may not catch on. Doyle does make the call. So we go from four players on the flop down to two players on the turn, which is king of clubs. Doyle checks. Phil's feeling pretty confident after a call and then a check that his hand is still best. Be a good time for a value bet. How's 7,400 sound? Sounds like a value bet to me. Let's see how it sounds to Doyle. We know that Ernest folded two deuces, which are two of the outs that Doyle would need to make his straight, so he's drawing even slimmer than he thinks. Texas Dolly is no Texas dummy. He is out. Rabbit hunt. Let's rabbit hunt that. That's it. That was it? Whatever you say, Doyle. I got there. Phil got there a while ago. Phil Locke picks up another nice pot, and Doyle misses once again as he continues to come up empty. More of the big game when we come back. Welcome back to the PokerStars.net Big Game. We've played about 30 of the 150 hands so far. Action begins on Phil Locke. Ace eight off suit. Gets rid of it. Tony G. Whatever happens in the pot, you just make it 1,500. Limp again with 10 high. Phil Helmuth folds. King four suited for the loose cannon Ernest Wiggins. On the button makes the call. I remember that day in commerce where you just told everyone, I'm not going to look at my cards and I'm going to always min raise. And the second one of you raises me, I'm going to look at my cards. But I'm going to do that for the, I'm going to bet the minimum or the min raise. That was fun. Till the end of the, and you did it for like five hours. Yeah, that's what I'm looking That's I, That's my game. I, I mean, that's that's the game I play with. Oh, that was at Bellagio. Was it the Bellagio? One time I did at Bellagio. I killed the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you bet every straight in the dark until someone minimum. raises. I bet yeah, minimum. minimum. Yeah. But then, and if they raise, you were like, okay, now I'm going to punish you by looking at my cards. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel and Doyle have also joined the party. Ace 4 10, top pair for Daniel. Like he checks. Doyle checks. I got mad. Raise Tony G out. leads out with 1,000. Not quite the flop I needed, baby. The loose cannon folds. Daniel calls. And Doyle's out of here. Daniel happy to keep the pot small at this point with a weak kicker. Another ace on the turn, giving trip aces to Negranu. Slow plays it with a check. Giving Tony another chance to fire at it, and fire he does. A bet of 4,000. Very hard to put your opponent on having an ace when the second one peels off on the turn. It's a call by Negranu. Daniel just calls. He knows Tony's likely to keep firing. The river card gives Daniel a full house. And he checks. Daniel thinks his hand is good. He's hoping Tony will fire again. Okay. He doesn't. I have a full house. Full house good. <laughs> Negrano takes down a pot worth 12200 <laughs> Tried to set the trap, but Tony G didn't take the bait. Throughout the big game, we'll see specific stats that illustrate player tendencies. And at this point, Joe, the aggression factor seems particularly interesting. A player's aggression factor applies to post-flop action. It's defined as bets and raises divided by calls. We've got a small sample size, but so far we see that Tony G is 15 times more likely to bet or raise than he is to just call. And Joe, I think that Daniel was hoping that was going to follow suit last hand. So far, Tony is the most aggressive player at the table post-flop. He just didn't happen to bite on the river. And we'll follow stats like these all season long here on The Big Game. Action begins with Daniel. Folds. So does Doyle. He lives right down the street from me. For Mayweather lives right next to him. Talking about boxing champion Floyd Money Mayweather. He did a lot of partying. He did? They say go to the club after every fight. Min raise for Phil Locke. Tony G calls. So does Phil Helmuth. So too does our loose cannon. Well, I won my 11th brace that we went out, and he was in the next booth. How many braces do you have? 11? All right, never mind, Daniel. Let's just reset. What? That wasn't a good needle? Come on, now. That was good. He, <laughs> won in 11, he, did the, he did the name drop and the, the number drop in the same sentence. The name sentence. drop and the number drop. That's, that's you forgot the weave in the jet drop on that. You're supposed to say, I flew to the club in my private jet. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, good point. Yo. First bracelet match and took 56 minutes. I'm supposed to call it that. As you can see, everybody whipped on the flop. Tony G takes a stab at it I got you, baby. and ends up paying off. Yeah, Jack, I. No, no, better, much better. Much, much better. One of the best hands I've had. One card was good. You can choose one card. Oh, this no, no, this one, one I can't, I can't, I can't. He I said can't you could. He said I said you I can't. Now, now you said I you accepted your offer before you declined. Can't it. Yeah, you did accept an offer. Whatever, but I don't okay, you can say it for 100. No, no, no. no, no. Wait a minute, he said you, you can, can see, see a card. Said you can see You're not a man of your word. I can't do it, I can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. You're a man of your word, Tony. Tony. That looks bad, kid. Wow, that does look bad I accepted your offer before you pulled it back. It was too late. You have to say it. You have to open it. reach, that was a body language, yes. I simply changed my mind. Pull the plug. Through 32 hands, Tony G's aggression continues to pay off as he's the big winner tonight, while Doyle has not been as fortunate. The loose cannon, Ernest Wiggins, is down 13000 And remember, he needs to get into the profits category if he wants to keep any of the cash. Ernest has 118 more hands to go, and these guys are not going to make it easy. All right, guys, that was the last hand of the night. As expected, lots of fireworks with you crazy people. Yeah. Phil, are you going to behave tomorrow? I'm going to try my hardest to behave. I was good, good. No, He's been pretty good so far, but it's early in the show. Wait till he loses about 30000 40000 <laughs> Smoke. All right, we'll come back tomorrow night to see if he's telling the truth, because I don't know. I'm Amanda Leatherman saying goodbye for now. And remember, if you've got the cash and the guts, there's always a seat open at the big game. See you next time. If you want to appear on the big game and be a loose cannon, log on to PokerStars.net. There are free qualifying tournaments every day. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Rose. We'll see you tomorrow night. Money. How you doing? Good. Winning money. Doyle needs a hug, I can tell. Okay. Hey, hey. The preceding was a presentation from PokerStars.net.